In Lesson 6.5, students watch a video that shows the decomposition of hydrogen peroxide using a catalyst. And the question that students investigate is, can they, in the classroom, use another substance as a catalyst to cause the decomposition of hydrogen peroxide? And the big science concepts covered are, in a chemical reaction, a catalyst speeds up the rate of the reaction, but it's not involved in the reaction. It doesn't become one of the products. And a catalyst can catalyze the decomposition of hydrogen peroxide to form water and oxygen gas. Let's take a look. You can show students a video. There's two videos actually. One's called Genie in a Bottle and the other is called Elephant's Toothpaste. These are classic reactions showing the decomposition of concentrated hydrogen peroxide using a catalyst called potassium permanganate. The first one is genie in a bottle. So there's concentrated hydrogen peroxide in that bottle and solid potassium permanganate was added. The decomposition of hydrogen peroxide proceeds really, really, really quickly and exothermically in this reaction. And the what you see coming out of the bottle here is steam, basically. It's water that's very, very hot and comes out of steam. The next one is called elephant's toothpaste. Again, there's concentrated hydrogen peroxide in the bottom, a couple drops of detergent solution, and a little bit of food coloring dripped on the side of the bottle. And the potassium permanganate is going to be added to this one. And instead of shooting steam up into the air, in this one, the oxygen is going to be trapped in bubbles formed because of the detergent that was in the hydrogen peroxide. And you get this um, snaky, foamy stuff that they just call elephant's toothpaste for fun. But in both cases, the reaction was the same. The potassium permanganate acted as a catalyst for the decomposition of hydrogen peroxide. So the hydrogen peroxide broke apart into water and oxygen. So here's the chemical equation for it. It's really H2O2, which is hydrogen peroxide, goes to water, H2O, plus oxygen, O2, and you just have to figure out how to balance the equation to show a balanced equation for that decomposition reaction. Now in the classroom, you can use a regular strength from a drugstore. The hydrogen peroxide is 3%, and what we used in the video demonstrations was I think 30 percent. Kids put hydrogen peroxide in a graduated cylinder and add yeast to it. Now the yeast has a catalyst called catalase in it and it decomposes the hydrogen peroxide. So on the student activity sheet really what uh, students are doing is looking at the equation and seeing that it's balanced and recognizing what the products of the decomposition are. That they're water, and oxygen. Based on what they saw in the videos, they can reason that, yeah, water makes sense because they saw the, the steam coming out in the genie in a bottle. And oxygen, yeah, that makes sense too because they saw all the bubbles formed in the elephant's toothpaste reaction. In the extend part of the lesson, students put a piece of aluminum foil in a copper two sulfate solution and nothing happens. It just sits there. But they add a little salt and things begin to happen. Now we consider the salt in this case a type of catalyst. Well, one theory is that the salt helps degrade the, the kind of coating that gets on the aluminum foil and it allows the copper two sulfate to react with the aluminum. And what happens here is that electrons from the aluminum combine with the copper ion and you end up getting actual copper. You can see that it's elemental copper begins to form. It's kind of a cool reaction. It's also exothermic and some hydrogen gas is also produced. Now if you're in an NGSS state, there's a performance expectation MSPS15 which says develop and use a model to describe how the total number of atoms does not change in a chemical reaction and thus mass is conserved. Well, Lesson 6.5 is a little tricky because it's a decomposition reaction and really what's happening is that the hydrogen peroxide molecules are interacting with the catalyst and just decomposing. But still, students work with the equation 
and see that what's on the left has to be accounted for on the right. So mass is conserved. So a close look at the foundation boxes for science and engineering practices, students develop a model. In a way, the chemical equation is a model to describe an unobserved mechanism. This idea in the disciplinary core ideas that substances react chemically in characteristic ways. That's the idea that hydrogen peroxide interacts with a catalyst and decomposes into water and oxygen gas, and that the total number and type of atoms is conserved. And this idea in cross-cutting concepts that matter is conserved because atoms are conserved in physical and chemical processes. In this case, we're showing a chemical process. So thanks for watching, and good luck with the lesson.